Greetings everybody. I am Shujaat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shujaat and today we are going to talk about biochemistry in particular the process of formation of bilirubin. Guys as we are well aware of the RBCs that they are 4.5 to 5.5 million in number and have a lifespan of 120 days. After 120 days they start decaying. They will convert into three main forms heme globin and iron iron is basically stored in body globin is an amino acid and it is also stored in body and this heme it is going to be converted into bilirubin and then bilirubin and we are going in particular that how it is going to be converted into that so we have a reaction in which iron and carbon monoxide molecule removed when NADPH is converted into NADP using an coenzyme heme oxygenase. And this process of NADPH into NADP conversion using heme oxygenase will give us a biliverdin. Biliverdin is basically green colored pigment which is then converted into yellow colored pigment using an enzyme biliverdin reductase. First we use heme oxygenase and convert NADPH into NADP then biliverdin form and biliverdin is converted into bilirubin using biliverdin reductase enzyme. Now this bilirubin will combine with albumin and it will go into the liver and in liver it will further combine with glucuronic acid and form bilirubin diglucuronide and this process took place in presence of enzyme UDP glucuronyl transferase. It is the enzyme with presence it takes place the step. Now when it comes to the small intestine this diglucuronyl will combine with bacterial enzyme and their formation of urobilinogen occurs there. And then urobilinogen will convert into stercobilinogen and in uh, case of large intestine in stool it is converted into stercobilin which is a brownish yellowish pigment and it gives color to the stool and if it is missing jaundice is going to be occur in our body now the remaining amount of bilirubin which is in excess so it is excreted from kidney in form of uric bilin and uh, the remaining is absorbed in portal system in quick summary, we discussed RBCs, its lifespan, its numbers and uh, its division uh, into heme, globin and iron and then conversion of heme into biliverdin in presence of heme oxygenase and then biliverdin into bilirubin in presence of biliverdin reductase and then the bilirubin into bilirubin glucuronic acid and glucuronic acid into bilirubin diglucuronide in presence of UDP glucuronyl transferase and then UDP glucuronyl transferase in small intestine with bacterial enzymes it will convert into uric bilinogen then urobilinogen will stercobilinogen and in feces it converted into stercobilin and excretion is basically in form of uribilin and absorbed in postal system the remaining bilinogen. So guys this is our basic discussion on how bilirubin formation is going to be occur. How first biliverdin is going to be formed in presence of heme oxygenase and then how biliverdin is converted into bilirubin with biliverdin reductase and then in liver what steps occur, in small intestine what steps occur, in large intestine what steps occur and how whole process is going to be complete. Hope you all will understand it. Don't forget subscribe Medco's lectures by Shujat. Thank you so much.